Have you ever felt completely alone? Like no one understands the depth of your pain? You're not alone. Many of us have been there, feeling isolated and lost. But there's hope. God knows your pain, and He has a plan for you. Today, we'll explore how God sees you, how He understands your struggles, and how He will make a way for you, blessing you in ways you never imagined. Our theme today is simple yet profound. Don't isolate yourself. God knows your pain. He will make a way and bless you unexpectedly. Let's ground this message in the Word of God. In Isaiah 43 verse 2, God promises, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This scripture reminds us that no matter the trials we face, God is with us. He sees our struggles and will provide a way through. Acknowledge your pain. Pretending everything is fine when it's not only deepens your isolation. God invites you to come to Him with your burdens. Psalm 34 verse 18 assures us, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Your pain is real, and God knows it. It's important to understand that acknowledging your pain is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards healing. When we admit our struggles, we open the door for God to work in our lives. Ignoring or hiding our pain can lead to feelings of isolation and despair, but bringing it into the light allows us to seek help and find comfort. Think about the story of Job in the Bible. Job experienced immense suffering, losing his family, his health, and his wealth. Instead of denying his pain, Job cried out to God, expressing his anguish and confusion. By doing so, he started a dialogue with God that eventually led to his restoration. Job's story shows us that God can handle our honesty. He wants us to come to him with our true feelings. You might also recall the Psalms of David. Many of these are heartfelt cries of pain and pleas for help. David didn't shy away from expressing his deepest hurts and fears to God. In Psalm 6 verse 6, David writes, I am worn out from my groaning. All night long, I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. By acknowledging his pain, David opened himself to God's comfort and healing. Another reason to acknowledge your pain is that it allows others to support you. When you share your struggles with trusted friends or family members, you give them the opportunity to help carry your burdens. Galatians 6 verse 2 encourages us, carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Isolation can make your pain feel unbearable, but community can provide much-needed relief and encouragement. It's also worth mentioning that acknowledging your pain is a step towards breaking the stigma around mental and emotional health in the Christian community. Sometimes, there's a misconception that Christians should always be happy and untroubled. But the reality is, everyone faces hardships. By being open about your struggles, you set an example for others, showing that it's okay to seek help and admit when things are tough. So today, take a moment to be honest with yourself and with God about what you're going through. Write down your feelings, pray about them, or talk to someone you trust. Remember, acknowledging your pain is the first step towards healing. God sees you, He understands, and He is ready to comfort and guide you through this difficult time. God understands. Understand that God truly understands your suffering. Jesus Himself experienced immense pain and isolation on the cross. Hebrews 4 verse 15 tells us, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. Jesus knows exactly what you're going through and is there to comfort you. Think about the story of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. In Matthew 26 verse 38, Jesus said to his disciples, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. He felt deep anguish, fear, and loneliness. He prayed fervently, asking God if there was another way, but ultimately he surrendered to God's will. Jesus understands your deepest sorrows, 
because he has been there himself. When Jesus hung on the cross, he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27 verse 46. In that moment, he felt abandoned and in profound pain. This shows that Jesus experienced the full range of human emotions and suffering. He knows what it's like to feel forsaken and alone, and because of this, he can deeply empathize with your pain. Moreover, Jesus didn't just experience physical pain. He bore the weight of our sins and the emotional and spiritual pain that came with it. Isaiah 53 verses 4-5 to says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, we are healed. This passage highlights that Jesus not only understands our pain, but also carried it for us, bringing us healing and peace. Remember that in your moments of deepest pain, Jesus is with you. He understands the depth of your suffering more than anyone else ever could. He is not distant or indifferent to your struggles. Instead, He is right there with you, offering His comfort and love. When you feel like no one else understands, turn to Jesus. He has walked the path of suffering and emerged victorious. His presence is a constant reminder that you are never truly alone. Seek community. Don't isolate yourself from others. The enemy wants you to feel alone, but God created us for community. In Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10, we read, Two are better than one. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. Reach out to friends, family, or your church community. Let them support you. Think about it. When Jesus began his ministry, he didn't do it alone. He gathered his disciples around him. They traveled together, prayed together, and supported each other. Jesus knew the importance of having people around to share the journey. Similarly, we need each other. We are stronger together. Consider the early church in the book of Acts. Acts 2 verses 42 to 47 describes how the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. They shared everything they had, supporting one another and growing together in faith. This sense of community was a source of strength and encouragement. Imagine how different your life could be if you had a group of people praying for you, checking in on you, and encouraging you. Maybe it's joining a small group at your church, participating in a Bible study, or simply reaching out to a friend for a coffee and a chat. Even in the digital age, we have tools to connect with others through online communities and virtual meetings. Use these resources to build and maintain connections. God designed us to be part of a community. Proverbs 27 verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. When we are connected with others, we grow, learn, and become better versions of ourselves. Isolation can lead to negative thoughts and feelings, but being part of a community brings light into our lives. Think of the story of Moses. When he felt overwhelmed with leading the Israelites, his father-in-law Jethro advised him to delegate responsibilities to trustworthy men. This advice helped Moses and ensured the community thrived. We can apply this wisdom to our lives by seeking and accepting help from those around us. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to lean on others. God placed people in your life for a reason. Allow them to be there for you, just as you can be there for them. Community is a gift from God, a way to experience His love and care through others. So today, take a step towards community. Make that phone call, send that message, or attend that group meeting. Open your heart to the people God has placed around you. They are His hands and feet, ready to lift you up and walk with you through any storm. Trust God's plan. Trust in God's plan for your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 promises, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future.
Even when it seems like there's no way out, trust that God is working behind the scenes for your good. Sometimes, life takes unexpected turns, and it's easy to feel discouraged or lost. But remember, God's perspective is far greater than ours. He sees the bigger picture. Think about Joseph from the Bible, sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. Joseph's life seemed to be a series of misfortunes. But through it all, he remained faithful and trusted God. In the end, Joseph became the second most powerful man in Egypt, saving countless lives, including his families. What seemed like setbacks were actually setups for a greater purpose. God's plan for Joseph was far beyond what he could have imagined. Similarly, your current struggles may be a part of a bigger plan that you cannot see right now. Trust that God is orchestrating everything for your good, even when it doesn't make sense. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This means letting go of our own need to control everything, and allowing God to lead us. Sometimes, God's plan involves waiting and patience. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Waiting can be difficult, but it's in these periods that our faith grows and we learn to rely more on God. Consider the story of David. Anointed as king at a young age, he had to wait many years and endure numerous trials before actually becoming king. During this time, he learned valuable lessons about leadership, patience, and trust in God. His psalms reflect a heart that learned to trust God deeply through every hardship. Your journey may have its ups and downs, but trusting in God's plan brings peace and assurance that He is in control. When you face difficulties, remind yourself of His promises. God's plan is always for your ultimate good and His glory, even when the path seems uncertain. In practical terms, trusting God's plan means daily surrendering your worries and fears to Him. Pray and seek His guidance in every decision. Read His Word to remind yourself of His promises and faithfulness. Surround yourself with a community of believers who can support and encourage you in your walk of faith. Trusting God's plan isn't always easy, but it's always worth it. Remember, He loves you deeply and knows what is best for you. He is with you in every step, guiding you towards a future filled with hope and purpose. Look for the unexpected blessings. Be open to the unexpected blessings. Sometimes, God's blessings come in ways we don't anticipate. Romans 8 verse 28 reassures us, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Keep your eyes open for the ways God is working in your life. Think about a time when something unexpected turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Maybe you lost a job, but it led you to a new opportunity that brought you greater joy and fulfillment. Perhaps a relationship ended, but it made way for personal growth and new connections you never imagined. God often uses the challenges we face to bring about greater good in our lives. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. Sold into slavery by his own brothers and later imprisoned unjustly, Joseph could have easily given up hope. But he remained faithful and trusted God's plan. In the end, Joseph rose to a position of great power in Egypt where he was able to save many people including his own family, from famine. What seemed like a series of misfortunes was actually a path to immense blessing. In your own life, try to see your struggles as part of a larger picture that God is painting. Every setback can be a setup for something amazing. When you face difficulties, ask God to show you the hidden blessings. Sometimes, the answer to your prayers comes in a form you didn't expect. Stay grateful and keep a positive attitude. Gratitude can open your eyes to the blessings you might otherwise overlook.
Keep a journal of daily blessings, no matter how small they seem. Over time, you'll see how God has been working in your life all along. Engage with God's Word and seek His guidance through prayer. The more you align yourself with God's will, the more you'll recognize His hand in the unexpected. Trust that He is weaving everything together for your good, even when you can't see it immediately. Remember, God's ways are higher than our ways. Isaiah 55 verse 8-9 to says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Trust in His divine perspective. Embrace the unexpected, and let God surprise you with His blessings. They may not always come when or how you expect, but they will come in perfect timing and in ways that reflect His incredible love for you. Take one step at a time. Overcoming pain and finding God's path may not happen overnight. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. God will guide you one step at a time. Trust Him daily. Life can feel overwhelming when you're in pain. It's like standing at the bottom of a huge mountain, unsure of how to start climbing. But remember, you don't have to see the entire path to take the first step. God provides just enough light for the step you're on. Think about when you walk in the dark with a flashlight. The light doesn't show you everything at once. It only illuminates what's right in front of you. That's how God guides us, step by step. Trust that He is lighting your way, even if you can't see the whole journey ahead. When you wake up each morning, ask God for the strength and wisdom for just that day. Jesus taught us to pray, Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6 verse 11 This reminds us to rely on God daily, not worrying about tomorrow's troubles. Focus on what you can do today and leave the rest in God's hands. Taking one step at a time means celebrating small victories. Each step forward, no matter how tiny, is progress. If you're trying to heal from a broken heart, recognize the moments when you feel a bit stronger. If you're battling an illness, celebrate the days you have more energy. These small steps add up over time and lead to big changes. Also, don't be afraid to ask for help. God often places people in our lives to help us along the way. Whether it's a friend, a family member, or a pastor, lean on those who can support you. Proverbs 11 verse 14 says, Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. You don't have to walk this path alone. Lastly, be patient with yourself. Healing and finding your way takes time. God's timing is perfect, even if it feels slow to us. Isaiah 40 verse 31 reminds us, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Trust that in God's time, you will find your strength renewed. So, remember, take one step at a time. Trust in God's guidance each day. Celebrate your small victories. Seek support from others and be patient with yourself. With each step, you are moving closer to the healing and purpose God has for you. Embrace hope and healing. Embrace the hope and healing that God offers. Revelation 21 verse 4 gives us a glimpse of our future with Him. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. God promises ultimate healing and restoration. But what does that mean for us today? It means that no matter how deep you're hurt, God's love is deeper. He sees every tear you cry, and He feels your pain. Imagine a loving parent comforting their child. God is that parent for you. He holds you close and whispers words of comfort into your heart. In moments of darkness, it's easy to feel like the pain will never end. But remember, just as the night gives way to the dawn, your pain will give way to joy. Psalm 30 verse 5 tells us, Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. 
This is God's promise to you. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes, embracing hope means taking small steps each day. It might be as simple as saying a prayer in the morning, reading a verse from the Bible, or talking to a friend about your struggles. Each small step brings you closer to God's healing embrace. And don't forget the power of gratitude. Even in the midst of pain, there are things to be thankful for. Counting your blessings, no matter how small, can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right. It's like opening a window to let in the fresh air of hope. Lastly, remember that healing is a journey. It might take time, but God is patient and His timing is perfect. Philippians 1 verse 6 encourages us with these words, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God isn't finished with you yet. He's working in your life, even when you can't see it. So, hold on to hope. Embrace the healing that God offers. Trust that He is with you, guiding you, and preparing a future filled with His love and peace. Today, I encourage you to bring your pain to God. Don't isolate yourself. Trust that He sees you, understands you, and is making a way for you. Reach out to someone today and share your struggles. Allow God to bless you in unexpected ways. Remember, God knows your pain, and He is with you every step of the way. Trust in His plan, seek community, and be open to His unexpected blessings. You are not alone. God's love and presence are with you always. Let's take a moment to bow our heads and come together in prayer, seeking God's comfort, guidance, and blessings in our lives. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts that are heavy, yet full of hope, knowing that you are the God who sees us, understands our pain, and never leaves us alone. Lord, we bring our burdens and sorrows to you, trusting in your unfailing love and grace. We thank you for your promise in Isaiah 43 verse 2, that when we pass through the waters, you will be with us, and the rivers will not sweep over us. Father, we ask for your comfort and peace to fill our hearts. In moments when we feel isolated and overwhelmed, remind us that you are near, that you understand every tear and every sigh. Help us to find strength in your presence and to seek out the community you have placed around us. Give us the courage to reach out and share our struggles with those who can support us. We trust in your perfect plan for our lives, Lord, even when we cannot see the way forward. Help us to hold on to the truth of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, believing that you have plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. Open our eyes to see the unexpected blessings you are preparing for us and teach us to embrace them with grateful hearts. Guide our steps, O Lord, one day at a time, and light our path with your word. Heal our brokenness and restore our spirits. Fill us with the hope and assurance that you are making a way for us, even in the midst of our pain. We thank you, Father, for your unending love and faithfulness. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We pray all these things, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. If this message spoke to you, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future message. Share this message with someone who needs to hear that God knows their pain and will bless them unexpectedly. Thank you for being part of our community.